It's all you, baby. Uh, oh man. Hello there. Uh, trying to avoid this for so long. So I'm just sick you and um, oh god, I'm gonna beat up here. I haven't played this for such a long while. I'm trying to reload my controls. I kind of forgot how to jump, dodge, and all that stuff. Uh, and I'm getting beat up by bunnies and. Well, I'm assuming to be the final stage here. Ooh. Well, that ended well. Yeah, we're not gonna seek justice. Not at all. It's all you, baby. All right, let's try this again. Hello there, I'm Dosetu, and welcome back to Bonsai Pecan. Uh, last hope for the young century. So, here we are. The final level of the uh, game proper. Well, actually, maybe next to final level of the game proper, I suppose. And it doesn't look... What the hell is this? It's kind of weird that the Lady Strawberry on the throne there is more boys. I mean, it doesn't look like the same person more or less, but eh. You can see all the other bosses there too, or the other S7, and um, of course our arch rival who's in a big picture with them for some reason when she's really freelance. Huh. Now anyway, we came a long way to get to this part and it's been... How long has it been since I played this game? What, over a couple months or longer I suppose? Yeah, probably more than a couple months. I really didn't want to come back to this game, but I couldn't let it go. And I want to get get this off my Steam library, so it has to be done. <laughs> and there's even a feature where we fall flat on our butt. Man. Man, let's get these guys back. Oh. Come on, no. Uh. There we go. Now, I think there's an achievement for those taco ones, but we're not going to get that achievement. We're going to try to figure out how to run here. I'm um, supposed to be double tapping on the joystick, but it doesn't always seem to work. We'll get this. Come on. Now we'll just jump. There we go. Now, these aren't the top tier bunnies yet. They're pretty close to it. We'll get to the top tier ones later down the line, but it really doesn't even matter. No matter how many bunny recolors we get, they're all about the same level of strength. In fact, it looks like we've actually been getting stronger as the game progressed. Uh, at least with the way we can handle the uh, larger um, jack bunnies or whatever the heck they're called, these guys. These have so much trouble in level 1, but if you do it right now, if you fight them correctly, you can actually take them down with, within broke. mere seconds. Alright, so let's see if we can throw that off. Like, right there! Mere seconds! Right! Alright, and here's that picture again. I still don't know why it's up here and why it's the same picture. I mean, we're going up in levels of this tower which looks destroyed for some reason, even though we're completely together when we approach it from the bottom. I've actually kind of forgotten how, bi how bad the artwork is in this game. Oh well. Let's see if we can make it across this. Come on, where's my run? Eh? Eh? There we go. Boom! Oh. Really? God, that works really bad. I mean, it's not truly terrible, but... Well, I guess when we talked about the art style way back in uh, episode 1 a long time ago, this is... Yeah, it's a moderate DeviantArt level, I suppose. It's the kind of art style you see in a lot of DeviantArt for people that don't have too much skill. Or just a low, low level of skill. Oh well. So it looks like there's a wedding about to happen. And Bit Almond of course has to use the bathroom.
So, are we inside the bathroom now, or... Uh, never mind. I mean, it, it looked like we went into the bathroom, but I guess we didn't. I was expecting this to come out disguised as a bitter almond for some reason, but eh, whatever. No, I guess not. How would they even fit in this conversation? Wait, what's going on here? Oh, really? You're gonna go with the tag? Yep. They went with it. They went with the tagline for a freaking cereal of all things. All right. So there's, I guess, the dominatrix second, which is supposed to be the de facto second in command and leader. Grabbing the boyfriend, running off with him, and now we're at the top tier bunnies. And of course, this guy. Was it, uh. Bow bottom, whatever? Well, at least he's going to take out, take this fight on for us while we head over to uh, deal with the S7 and Lady Strawberry. Nope. Oh, Alright, or we could just fight them, and... Uh, did she not quite her help? That guy has been all but useless so far in this game. Hell, the one place he's expecting to help us since he said he was going to be here, but he, but he doesn't. What we instead get is a uh, gauntlet fight against a hell of a lot of bunnies, and a few, I guess they're called Jimmy Jackrabbits? And that's just to show... Well, I guess it didn't show how bad we, we almost died there. Now, these bunnies can be dangerous, uh, but he, Jane, Denny Jackrabbits are always dangerous, but the uh, smaller bro. ones that aren't the Jenny Jackrabbits, they're not really dangerous until they get you in groups or they somehow get lucky and then they stun lock you to death. Which would happen. In fact, it might very well happen. Something is going to happen right here, though. So, here's how you want to do this the uh, first Jenny Jackrabbit always comes off from the right, correct? So, what you're going to do then is just keep on the left side of the screen and take down as many of these guys as you can. That way you don't get within punching range as soon as the uh, tougher bunny shows up. Good on them like that. We're not trying to, it just happens. Jesus. Alright, so this is where you want to be. That way when they walk into you, they walk into your feet and they won't do anything to you. Now another cool thing is we actually learned how to throw, so now we can throw enemies at other enemies and harm them too. I don't know how that laser killed the one that was off to the right, but whatever, that's fine. We can get a handle on it this time, so we're doing good so far, right? And yeah! Ooh, 101 and 507 from our Uh oh. No? No? Oh god. There we go. Perfect. Not too bad, right? Eh, pretty too bad, I suppose. There's not much background scenery to see either this time around. I mean, yeah, you got the city down there, but we're so high up that you can barely see it yet. And all you got is the cloudy background. There's nothing left. I guess it's a sunset or a pretty sunrise? Maybe it's just sunset. No. I mean, this game did start out in the middle of the day, so either a morning or afternoon, so it makes sense that as we progress, the uh, nighttime would come around. Oh, crap, here we go. Yeah, they got lucky. Uh. Justice. Yeah, let's regain justice and let's do this again.
Alright. We got this. So bunnies at each other and just keep kicking them. Really that's all you can do since there's really only one attack button that you get. So you do jump, jump combos and all that kind of stuff, but it really depends on uh, where you go. And that was the... I don't know what to call that move on it. I don't think the game gives me the script on it. It treats it like a Michael Jackson type move. And it transforms enemies into items. Now they won't always be the dirty little pennies that you saw there. Sometimes they'll be uh health items like that. Which is very useful in this fight because this is actually a pretty rough battle to get through. You got a hell of a lot of enemies to deal with, and only one bar of health to do it all in. And I guess I should have mentioned that you can see how far along we are on this, uh via the little meter at the top of the screen that shows Bunny Beatdown and um, the progress bar that's sliding itself across the screen. And I think we saw the last of the Jimmy Jack Rapids too for this particular battle. Come on, just a couple more to go. Or four more, this is manageable. Yeah, okay. There it is. Oh. Segoy and Maple are our tribal. Now, if you remember, we last saw Segoy and Maple um, a couple of levels back, actually, just before entering the tower, where Bill Bottom Guy uh, actually took her, took her on for us. But this time, we get a fighter ourselves. Don't tell me what you got. Now you wanna know the funny thing here? This is not the hardest fight in the game. In fact, this is actually one of the easiest fights in the game. And I guess that could be a kind of relief considering all the bosses up to here from was it level 3, 4, 5, and even into 6, I guess? Well, hard as balls to get past. And then you come up to who is supposed to be your arch rival, the only other person at your skill level, and they're pissed easy to defeat. Now, I let myself get killed here, of course, because I wanted to see what her moveset was. I wanted to keep her chance to show herself off. I think she gets like one more of those things on us. Yep. I guess not, maybe we'll keep it Nope, there it is. It's not like we have a choice there, Flynn. You're not doing anything for us. Don't tell me what you got. All right, so let's proceed to kick her but sideways the good way. So, also, unlike uh, most bosses in this game, you can stunlock her for the entirety of the fight right here. There's the uh, other bosses, or at least the S7 when you kick them on. And once they reach a certain point on the uh, first section of the health bar, right? They actually can't be knocked out anymore, or at least not by kicking you actually have to find a different way to kick them out. And that makes them very, very annoying. Especially the ones that have like a super attack that could, they can execute right away. Oh. She still gets that up on us. It looks like we got her. Alright, so for this rapid justice, yeah, just jamming A won't actually do anything for you. We should even do it again over here. No? There you go, you actually have to hit all four buttons. Doing all four buttons actually brings it high enough to initiate it. I 
don't get why don't these people just die? I mean they explode. If they're if they're not exploding like they're robots, where is the explosion coming from? That's episode six. And now we're at the top of uh, whatever the hell tower we're at. I think that's a, there's another complaint I have about this game is the way it's written is kind of uh, it's not good. It's got one-liners and crap that are just forced in because it's trying to be tongue-in-cheek, I guess. But the way it seems to be written is it expects you to know these characters well before this game. And I think this game is like the first time we see any of them, but it's not written uh, in a way that this game introduces you to any of these characters. It just plops you into the middle of an already an, an ongoing conflict and expects you to know everybody and know their histories. Welcome to the danger zone. Get ready. Oh well. So now we're on the last proper level of this game. Probably one of the better looking places, and that really isn't saying much though. Oh, actually it has better animated water than you see anywhere else in this game. I think this is like the one time you see an animated background at all. I guess it was at the uh, Comic Con convention, but I'm unsure of that actually. Eh. Oh, it was a bunny con, that's why it was a bunny con. I don't even think they had uh, animations there either. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that didn't as well at all. Those ninjas can be a right pain in the butt to deal with. But no problem. We can do this. So we can take out Jenny here because she's actually tougher or will do a lot more damage while the ninja here will just run and dies in a couple hits. However, that one is a lot more annoying because she'll throw stuff at you and there's a heck of a lot more enemies so I have to concentrate on them before I can concentrate on the orange chair sleep trying to knock us out with punches. There we go. This is what I mean by these bunnies who can become very tough if they get you in a group like that. So you always want to keep on the outside and just kick their butts. Alright, full health. And the end of the level. Well, that's an interesting outfit. Oh, don't tell me you're going to run a bodge rush. These guys were a pain in the butt if earlier on on their own. Oh. Whew. Alright, so it looks like we can skip a boss rush against these insane idiots and actually take on um, Lady Star by ourselves.
Alright, and welcome to the fight against Lady Strawberry. She is by far one of the hardest fights in this game. And it's really for janky reasons too. What Strawberry here does that none of the other bosses do is she can spam attacks in rapid fashion. And um, they can hit you while you're within melee range, knock you out of melee range, and then still kind of still hit you. She actually has a couple of hand attacks that'll knock you all the way across the field. You can kind of see it right there. Now she's also low enough health where we can no longer actually uh, stun her. So we hit her a few times with the leg, she jumps back and then she starts spamming the arms on us. Like that. Your man. Go for broke. I don't even want to go for broke. Just want to take her down. Show me what you got. Let's see if we do this again. Now you've seen all her moves. I think she has like one more hand move left, and that one's also a pain in the butt because that can extend pretty far out from her. In five minutes. Just the best ever pistol. Now thankfully the uh, damage does take a lot of uh, health off the uh, bad guys. It kills, it kills everybody but the bosses honestly. But it doesn't help us that much here. And that Triumph is how done. a lot of your fights with this uh, with Lady Strawberry are going to be. You can barely get her past that uh, first health bar, if at all. Maybe you'll do it if you get lucky, or you do what we do here. And we're going to try to get her off in the corner and stun lock her all the way down as far as we can go. Because that's the only way to do this fight, and I mean it. You get her in the corner like this, then when she uh, does a jump back to do her fist, she can't get far enough away from your leg, so you can actually knock her out of her attack pattern, and then wail on her. This is the recommended way to fight her, because any other way, you give her enough distance to want for her to launch her uh, long range attacks on you. And then good luck getting to her after that. There we go. And this was after multiple tries of doing this. God. I think you got lucky here too. At one point my thumb got tired of hitting the button and so my attack started to slow down. And that gave her the opening she needed to, uh, to hit me. Yeah, we're almost out. She's down to the last bit of her health bar. There we go. Yeah. Why is that thing there? We're already at the boss. Hmm. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's see. We know it's coming. Hmm. No laughing picture of our friend here, except for that. I guess that flasher was only indication that this was the demon from the uh, cutscene prior to entering this tower. We were like in the past or something and uh, we had the demon who fell in love with a human and ended up killing the human.
Oh, that's his name. Bill Bottom Shade. You haven't done anything for us except maybe get in the way of one fight. Apparently it takes more than a gash to kill us. And we actually uh, repaired our uniform on the way over to this cutscene. Oh yeah, you saw those guys flying in the back? That's the last you'll see of the S7 with the um, exception of one. And there it is right now. I guess if Goy Maple picked up a new friend. Huh. It doesn't take a genius to see what's about to happen here. Oh dear. Now it's really easy to see what's coming. It's like freaking line for line too. With the names changed out. Notice how the music doesn't even change, so the impact is not really even there. Oh, there it is. No. It really is line for line. So, now this brings up a question- oh. I guess this kind of brings up a question now. Who the hell raised Bonsai? I mean, if we're to guess anything, the father died way back when. And she just never talks about her parents. We never see any of her parents. I guess, since Lady Strawberry is the mother, that's at least one. Did she get raised like by a kindly grandmother and... Oh yeah, and Bill Bottom Shades apparently our, uh, our kid. Now it's at this point, if you were, uh... Being a, club, being a clever writer, you could have made this whole line of thing just utter bullshit and made her not be the mother, just trying to just trying to screw with our hero heroine. Hell, this would be the perfect spot right here where Banzai call, calls out Strawberry, right? But no, we just delve deeper into the stupidity that she just knows. 
So bell bottom shades from the future. We don't know how he got here. He never explains himself. He just shows up like uh like the was it boyfriend hero types that show up in most uh magical girl animes and that's it. Nothing gets explained about any of these characters. The game expects you to know them, to know them well enough to not have to question it. This is not how you do a game where you, inter where you introduce people to a new character. Whatever, let's keep going. So apparently the uh, dude in distress was kind of distressed that... Bonsai had a backup boyfriend just in case. Which makes things kind of icky in a whole nother level since um, since if you're thinking about it from a family perspective. The mother's calling dibs on the boyfriend which the daughter already, I would say, I don't even know if they had relations as it were yet. So would that be sloppy seconds? And boom, right there. There, there was never really a spot where they're talking about non-existent. Remember that one cutscene where things were supposedly serious, or whatever. That's this game telling it. Now the game saying, "Ah, uh, we didn't make any of that. We're just trying to troll the player." But that didn't help anything because that didn't explain Jack and Squat. It could have given us a little motivation for the villain, but it wasn't even fourth wall breaking. It was a look into the past. But she was more ag actually talking about the line where she mentioned that she'll bring order to the world or prevent disorder. And that doesn't explain Jack and Squat e either because we don't know what the plan is here. All we know is that she wants to get married. That's it. And it will somehow destroy the world? I don't even know. I mean, if that was a joke, then she just wants to I'm steal the boyfriend away from the now. daughter. And that's it. Oh, well, yeah, and the game crashed. Huh. I guess even it couldn't take its stupidity for much longer. Whatever. Let's let's reload this thing and try this again. Give me a second here. There we go. No, we're not going full screen. I've been recording this in windowed mode, so meh. Cat fights weren't even hyper. Alright, let's reload our game. I'm gonna end this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, for some reason, Lady's probably transformed and has a machine gun. It is actually fairly easy to defeat. You, of course, won't see that right here. Oh yeah, and now the background, the uh, Ultron is shooting lasers into the sky like the world's about to end, and we don't even know why. Oh, we got an aura around it. That's cool, right? Oh yeah, and doing the uh, dance attack actually blows us in place. Yeah, I don't think he died. I think the game locked out on this here. Alright. Let's try this again. No full screen. Even having the gamepad doesn't help. Alright. So, let's do this again. Let's reload ourselves into the final fight and uh, see how it goes. I'm gonna end this now.
You would end this never. Ah! Alright, come on, let's go. Now, the more grown of you probably noticed that as the uh, fight progresses, our energy bar actually uh, for a magic comes up on its own without us being hit. Yeah, that's not something I noticed for a while, so you probably caught it well before I did. I think I learned it right here. But by this point, I think it was too late. Yeah, there we are. That's just a matter of executing, there we go. Maybe he just went right here. I thought I was gonna die. Okay. Oh, you're gone. I'll take you to a world of... There we are. And that's it. That is the final boss. I can just feel it say, you're going down, mom. That's, that could be somewhere funny. Maybe they added a little bit of voice acting, but I don't know if he'd want to, considering how some of these characters sounded. Alright, there's Sigoy and Maple doing her thing. I guess she finally saw the errors of her way, now she's gonna rebel against her mother like all teenagers tend to do. And she's gonna try to help us save the world. there and where'd that costume come from No telling of how she got back home or who recovered and everything like that. Just, hey, you're back. Oh hey, it's Lady Strawberry. You're in the hallway, where would your bed even be? Oh yeah, so I guess uh, we wrecked up Lady Strawberry's house, which I guess was the tower, so now she's moving in with us. Makes sense. Yeah, see, Sukhoi picked up, uh, was it Bittersweet Almond? <laughs> they're like best, they're like bros now, apparently. Uh, although, 
Sigoy is still trying to be our arch rival for whatever reason. The most better written animation probably would have become a friend at this point. Especially after finding out that their family, which I don't know how they didn't know that to begin with. Uh, whatever. That's the end of this uh, horrible, horrible game. I really didn't expect to get this far. My initial... Well, they were still... Ah, screw this. On my initial run of this, uh, when I ran, tested this on the stream, I could never get past the first Jenny Jackrabbit way back in stage one. My intent, original intent for this was to really just show off one video showing how ridiculously bad this game was in uh, one level. Or at least as far as you can get in the first level, which I thought was as far as you'd be able to get. But then I made it past that and I decided to screw it, we're gonna play out the entire game. Yeah, yeah. And so here we are, at the title screen, finally at the end of this mess. Ugh. I thought I had a higher tolerance for bad games, but apparently I not. It got to the point where I just didn't want to touch this thing for such a long time. But in the end, I'm kind of glad I did, because now I can finally put this behind me and, we can move forward, and I can move forward to games I like better if I want to. I do have a... Uh, Another horrible, horrible game I'd probably get around to doing one day. Uh, that one's in 3D. But that one breaks a lot. At least the multiplayer feature did, where it kept crashing on people. Oh well. Anyway, I do not recommend this game. It's got very, very few enemy types to speak of. In fact, it starts recoloring the enemies right out the gate. Like, as soon as you get to was it level 2 or 3, you're already dealing with recolors. The only real different enemies are the bosses. If you want a better brawler for the price you pay for this game, I'd really just recommend Fist Puncher. It's got a lot more levels, a lot more variety, and is a better overall game than this tripe. But anyway, I'm Doseku. This has been The Last Hope for the Young Century, Bonsai Pecan. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next game.